Good day viewers and subscribers, welcome back to my channel. This is Girls Connection, the world of connection. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. Also, click the notification bell to receive daily news updates locally and internationally. Father of 13 shot dead in Hatfield, Manchester. A two-year-old boy and a seven-year-old girl and their 11 siblings have been left without a father after gunmen shot dead 55-year-old shopkeeper Everton Wrangling, otherwise called Ginger, in his community yesterday morning. According to residents, about 8 a.m., Wranglin was attacked by two gunmen who opened a fire, hitting him multiple times. Residents said Wranglin ran and was chased by gunmen who shot him again, killing him on the spot. Stacy and Gail, his spouse and mother of two of his children, was distraught as she spoke to us near the crime scene yesterday. If it's not a person to pick trouble with people, my only ear say him did the out here on the side of the road and him get the two first shot there and him run off and them run him down and shoot him again, she said. I don't know how I'm going to manage. My work as a farmer and run a little shop, but that alone can't provide for the children, she added. She said her children had a close bond with their father. Right now, me in a pain and grief because my mother just died two weeks ago and now this come happen. My daughter love her father very much. Me don't know how me go tell her. My son love him too and for them I go go home and not see them father, it a go hard, she said. She described her spouse as an independent man. Him is a very self-reliant person. Him not depend upon people. Him try to make two ends meet. Him do everything just to make him kids and survive, Gail said. A resident and close friend of the deceased, who spoke on the condition of anonymity, was puzzled at Wrangling's gruesome death. Me not have no problem with him, and him is not a troublemaker. I don't know of anybody looking for him. I just saw him park every day. Him did just earlier drop off him baby mother and him two picnic them and did a chill right here when them attack him, she said. Counselor for the Spurtry Division, Erwin Facey, condemned the brutal killing. It is a sad day, based on what is happening in our society with shootings and murders. What has happened is really cause for alarm. I knew him to be a small business owner, Facey said. The incident caused a gridlock as scores of motorists were left stranded for hours while police processed the scene along the main thoroughfare, which links Mandeville and its environs to St. Elizabeth. This is Girls Connection, the world connection. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Also, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you.